What's going on, everybody? I am Winston A. Marshall, a.k.a. The Swaggy Blurred, and this is The Blurred Breakdown. And you are here for the Funny Fridays episode. It's the second one I'm doing, man. Uh, it's where I essentially am going to go find funny or, or like interesting stories on the internet, and we're just going to talk about it, laugh it up, just get you uh, rolling and ready for the Friday, man. Uh, now, if this is your first time here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know the new content that's coming out, and hit a like on this video if you enjoy it. Uh, I found that these tend to be a little bit longer, so I have been breaking it uh, up into clips, so that's also an option, too. You can check those out, uh, but I really appreciate all the new people that have been coming in, man. We crossed 3,000 uh, about a week ago. I'm so grateful to everybody that helped do that, and now we're on the road to five, man. We're trying to get to 5K, so definitely share this out when you're done, man, and if you haven't already, again, check out some of the other content. I just recently did, uh, I was going to do a different blurred breakdown with some interesting news that popped off this week. Uh, you know, a little bit earlier, but uh, Kendrick decided to break the internet and literally bash on a dead body one more again, because why not? Uh, so go check out my breakdown uh, and reaction to the Not Like Us music video as well. So uh, we're going to get right into it. So let me go ahead and pull up the first video and we'll get it popping. All right, for context here, there was nothing that said it was just a video that just said, watch it. So let's see what happens. Mom? Yeah, puppy. Do we have a cat? No, why would oh, you no. have a cat? Because dad last night was saying, oh, I'm going to beat that kitty, baby. <laughs> why would daddy want to have a cat? What are you listening to? What happened? There's nobody was going to tell you You need to be in cat. bed, all right? <laughs> 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 Do we have a cat? No, why would daddy have a cat? Because dad last night was saying, oh, I'm going to beat that kitty, baby. Why would daddy oh, want to have a cat? Okay, holy shit. So that's one of the main reasons where, like, I do want to have a kid at some point. I am in zero motherfucking rush, man. Just for that, I don't, I don't need, I don't need no kids knowing about all of that. I, I, <laughs> I, I don't know about y'all. I feel like everybody's got one story where you kind of, uh, you didn't necessarily walk in on your parents, but like something like this happened. So if it's not, oh, you know, uh, we were getting it in. Uh, it may have been you heard your mom or your dad saying something to each other or things like that. I unfortunately do have this this repressed memory of me walking in and and like it was it was really early in the morning and I just like came downstairs because I had I couldn't sleep I had a nightmare uh and I heard all this banging and rustling so I was gonna go downstairs and I walk in and I was just like daddy what are you doing oh no 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 and yeah so I, I try not to think about that but I that's that's fucking hilarious that is genuinely very funny, but I guess they know how soundproof their walls are or not. Uh, what do you think about that one? Let me know in the comments. That's a great start. Shout out. I don't, I don't know who said that to me, but shout out. Bed, all right. I don't know who sent out to me, but shout out to y'all. That was a great start. On to the next one. Okay, so this next one, for those that can't read it, that says Jamaicans teaching tourists how to twerk and whine. Oh boy. All right, hold on. Okay, you know what? Well, not 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 blue shirt. She's kinda whining into a Tina Belcher. Twerk it like you need some money, twerk it like you need some money, twerk it like you need some money, twerk it like you need some money. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh, 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 poor blue shirt. She tried it. She tried it, man. Look, I got to give props to my people. I'm not Jamaican. I'm West Indian. I'm Guyanese. But I, I, I got to give props to my people that, like, especially Jamaica, the Bahamas, etc. They're very aware of the fact that their main source of, of uh, income in the economy tends to be uh, tourists. Tourists love to go to the islands and whatnot. Uh, there's, you know, and, and vacation and all that stuff. So, first of all, shout out to my sister getting that bread. Twerk it like you need some money. Twerk it like you need some money. Out here being like, I I'm gonna get this money because it's. If you notice, let me pull it back up real quick. I'm gonna turn down just a little bit, but you see here, it's all. It's pretty much all white girls. There's maybe a couple Latinas, maybe that girl's mixed, but it's like all white girls, and she is getting that bread. And the second thing is, yo, my sis is doing these ladies a favor, and she's doing so many men a favor as well, man. You have just guaranteed that the men in their lives. Well, except for blue shirt, blue, blue shirt, fam. Blue shirt is trying, but she really too much Tina Belcher. Because the rest of them, you see, they're not re her a little bit. Maybe it's just the color blue, but but especially blue shirt on the side. My girl, 
Oh, Lord. I, I just... <sighs> anyway, what do you think, y'all? Do you think that that was... That, that the, the ladies are doing all right? I thought, I thought that the lesson got through. There are clearly no experts. Nobody is looking to them to compete in the winding Olympics that are about to go down uh, or that just went down with Carnival. But, like, they've now got something to work with. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the same way, everybody should get, like, voice lessons. I think everybody should get a voice lesson. Everybody should take an improv class. You should have the basics down. And I can at least say they got the basics down. Blue shirt, she's got the basics. It just, it's, 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 she's a little pitchy. We'll put it that way since I mentioned voice lessons. American pie, I need a piece of that. Twerking like you need some money. Twerking like you need some money. But tell me what you think in the comments, man. On to the next. <laughs> All right, this one right here, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. I, I didn't see Smile. I, I still want to. I don't, I don't love horror movies, but this is just scaring my mom with the smile filter. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yo! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this one's going to be bad, though. Yo, my dude took out a random woman walking by. <laughs> ah! <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> hey, yo. Why my man's out here launching passes like goddamn Joker? Look at this shit. His his sheets went flying. <laughs> oh. That's <laughs> 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 your game. Okay, look, I don't like being fucked with. I don't like being scared. If you scare me, I'll kill you. But I will tell you, that was fucking hysterical. That, that's the kind of pranks that I, I'm here for, man. Like, nothing too crazy just to, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> but tell me what you think in the comments, man. Would you be doing that same shit to your siblings, your mom, your dad, man? Let me know. <laughs> On to the next. Okay, so this one was sent to me and someone asked just what my thoughts were. I don't know if this is another Hawk Tua type situation or what, but let's take a look. How much would you want a first date to cost? It doesn't matter because I pay for myself and he should pay for himself. How old are you? I am 30. How much would you want a first date to cost? It doesn't matter because I pay for myself and he should pay for himself. In case like it doesn't work out, so nobody should waste money. So on the first date, you'd be fine if we split it 50-50. I've always... Okay, hold up. Not not them having a real-ass interview right now, and this drunk-ass white boy and his goofy-ass, it looks like either a black or Indian friend, trying to spit. Well, she is in the middle of some shit, my nigga. Like, chill out. Stop being so motherfucking thirsty either for a woman or attention. Damn. Whoa! Oh! He needs some milk. But just from her first start, I actually don't disagree with her. I kind of like that, man. Like, I've been out the dating game for a minute, but I always had kind of like a rule of thumb that I personally wouldn't spend a whole lot on a first date because it's, it's uh, you know, kind of a chemistry test. You're feeling out if you guys kind of work. So it's better to do something low-key. Drinks, coffee, uh, you know, things like that that are both in public settings. But then also, if we immediately find out we don't vibe, like if I find out that you're like, uh, you know, uh, uh, some stupid like, oh yeah, I think Macklemore is the greatest rapper of all time. I'm not going to have a second date. That's not happening. And the last thing I want is to spend money at like Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen and this bitch talking about Macklemore. So I actually kind of agree with this. So let's see what else she has to say. Why is that your mentality? Because I feel like a man shouldn't waste his money on me if I'm not interested in him, vice versa. That is a mature ass, respectable ass situation. Like I, I am of the mindset that, who, for me, it's whoever asks the person out, 
Um, if it's not like a mutual thing, if it's not like a Tinder or something, if it's like a Tinder or something, you know, um, then I, I think her rule works. But if it's kind of like, a, hey, I noticed you, I want to whatever, I still think you should, whoever asked out should treat. I don't think it's necessarily on the man. I think it's on, because like if someone comes and asks me, if that wasn't something that I was initially planning, but you've convinced me and I'm like, that actually sounds like a good idea. Sure. You asked me out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't, I don't hate this idea at all. I actually really love it because again, don't waste my time. Don't waste my money. That whole situation. And that goes for every party involved. Don't waste a woman's time uh, from the start to the finish. Don't waste your motherfucking time. Don't waste a man's time. Start to the finish. I think part of the reason why a lot of people get so upset is we do spend a lot of time and energy and we're not into folks for it not to work out. And that's just you making a bad decision, in my opinion. I don't know. Let's see what else you got. She this this video's kinda long. So at what point do you start letting your man pay for you? When we're boyfriend and girlfriend. Does that mean he has to pay for your hair and your nails too? Oh hell no. I'm an independent woman. I work in cybersecurity. I got me. And he should know that even if he's at his ten percent, I can handle that ninety percent. That's how confident I am in me. Now, what about when you're married? When I'm married, same difference. It's 2023, you know, that mentality where a woman... It's actually 2024. 2024, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a bit tipsy. How old are you? Damn. And she did all that while tipsy? That's impressive. Um, Yeah, I, I, the only part of hers I don't agree with is, like I kind of mentioned, date one is a, is a tag. You're, you're dipping your toe in the water. Uh, if we're going on a second date, like, nah, I'm a, I'm a treat you out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, we're gonna, like, I'll take you to dinner or we're going to a museum or we're, you know, going wherever the fuck. I don't know a museum. Damn you old nigga. Um, but, but, but that's a situation where I'm more, once we're past date one, cause now I'm truly trying to stunt and show off and treat you and court you. I just think first dates are supposed to be meant for us to know if we if we rock with each other. I don't think that that, that the exception to that rule, in my opinion, is if you're dating somebody that you've known for a while. So if like that's been like the homie or like y'all went to college together or something like that uh, and you reconnected because somebody moved back to the city or you're in the same city now. And you want to do that. I think you can go out. But if you're talking a full on stranger, I think it's got to be low key to start. And that doesn't mean that you need to dress bummy. I don't think you should do that. And it doesn't mean you should go to like literally a sewer like that. Fuck all that noise. You should put some effort into it, but I don't think you need to dress to the nines. I don't think you need to spend a bajillion dollars. Not in this economy like that. That's just crazy. But like wear something nice and then go to like a respectable bar, go to like a, a nice coffee shop, go, go to somewhere where we can talk and genuinely get to know if the vibes are there. But that's just me. What do you think? I thought that was a very productive conversation. On to the next meme that someone made, and this looks like the Temptations. <laughs> check, check it out. Nice. <laughs> 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 nice like this. I wish raindrops would fall. <laughs> <laughs> Night like this. I wish raindrops would fall. Night like this. I wish raindrops would fall. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, it's sad. And the only one that ended up showing up is this baby boy. And that's. Oh lord. Uh, look, man. I, to all the Laker fans that are watching this. I hope that the Bronny thing, I think watching Braun and Bronny play is going to be fun. I hope it works out. Oh, JJ Redick works out. It's good for the league. It's good for basketball when the Lakers are good. I just, y'all ain't got the sauce right now. I'm sorry, you don't. And Braun is still putting up, like, numbers, but LeBron ain't lebron in. if we'll put it that way. He's just not. Let's just be one in the buck with it. Um, oh, that was good. That was good. What do you think? Was that a little too much? Is that too much sauce, or did you actually... Not my air turning on. Nigga, is somebody in my house? Hold on. A few moments later. Shit. Uh, well, I get to explain that electric bill. I apparently left the air on overnight. 
Now you see now, you done fucked up, you know that, don't you? I see. see what I'm saying? I, no, I, I thought... No, so, you know what I'm saying? That you done I, fucked up now, you know that, don't you? That's not going to be a fun conversation. Um, all right. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, tell me what you think about LeBron and the Lakers. To, I'm on to the next video. Fuck me. All right. So this one here says, watching the Unks play spades is better than TV. And that ain't a motherfucking lie. For those that, for, for the white fans uh, that aren't familiar with spades, you've probably heard of the game before, but it is spades, bid, whiz, dominoes. Those are big staples. Uh, and Uno are big staples that black cookouts, family gatherings, all that kind of stuff. So uh, and the unks don't play around. So I'm very curious to see how this goes. Let's see. God damn, I don't God damn need my pocket. This is what I, I got. Thought, I thought y'all were one. Get butt ass nigga. I thought y'all were one. one. Get butt ass nigga. Get butt ass nigga. Get goddamn nigga. I thought you see your knee. Are you on knee? Drop your goddamn. Drop your goddamn. Drop your goddamn. Drop your goddamn. I don't need him. 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 I don't Oh my god, they ran the motherfucking table. God damn! I got something. I got something. You ain't that one. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. I got I ain't got no face. No, no, no. He got face. He threw a diamond on this book here. Did right someone renege? Oh shit! <laughs> All right, uh, that was fucking fantastic. Like y'all understand now why so many conversations come out the black community about how shit goes down, especially around the space table, dominating this table. I'm gonna warn you right now again, twelve white people that are watching this: do not step up to the spades table if you don't know how to play, and if you have the chance of reneging. If you ever renege, and that is a legitimate term, that is not me coming up with a nigga term for some shit, you will be laughed out and never invited back. All that being said, man, that was fucking hysterical, and that's exactly how it is. And honestly, I'm not as old as them, not even close. But I'm getting to Uncle Age while I started wearing them, them, them sandals and shit uh, to the damn party and started smoking cigars while I'm grilling. It, it's, it's gotten to that point, man. And I, I got to say, it's hella fun to watch it happen. It is fun starting to be that dude now and all that. But what do you think, man? Uh, have, you, have you watched Epic Spades Fails? Let me know what, what was the worst Spades or Domino's experience or even Uno, whatever your family plays. Let me know in the comments, man, what you think. Uh, let's go on to the next one. All right, so this one right here uh, was tweeted by a Trunk fan um, who I believe, um, okay, I'm not familiar with them, but uh, they said here in the tweet, College Humor did a video for what for a, what if the speech from the film on Independence Day happened today, and this was back in 2016, and it's aged very well. Oh, boy. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, you know, I may cut away more than you would like just because... With as much Independence Day that I am assuming they might play, I want to make sure, since they have, like, dropout, that I'm not going to get this pulled. So, let's do it. Hey, the 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday. But as the day when the world declared in one voice, huh. we will not go quietly into the night. Well, there you have it. President Whitmore said tonight, what? the 4th of July will Fuck no Zeus. longer be known as an American holiday. Uh, what? Say it? What is he talking about? It's <laughs> the most American holiday. You know, I'm going to say what we're thinking. The president is a traitor. <laughs> hey, yo, that's... Already, we're only 27 seconds into this two-minute sketch, and that already, they have nailed this shit. All right, let's keep going. Hi, angels. So the president gave a speech, and he said this. Mankind, that word should have new meaning for all of us today. Yeah, Mr. President, it should. But if you're trying to unite people, hmm, here's a thought. Maybe you shouldn't exclude all of womankind. Jesus, Think about Jesus Christ. The only thing that kills more, they have the little like music playing in the standard fucking video. 
President Whitmore is right, but not for the reasons you think. Perhaps oh, it's fate that today is the 4th of July, and you will once again be fighting for our freedom. President Whitmore ignores a majority of the world who is not involved in the American Revolution. The sort of America centrism has long infected politics, which is beyond embarrassing. <laughs> what the president got wrong Not slate in his Independence too. Day speech. We can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore. We should celebrate our differences, not ignore them. Uh, oh I suspect that when President God. Whitmore wants us to push aside our differences, what he really wants is to push aside those that are different from oh him. My I'm not excited God. about the president's speech, and you shouldn't post. be either. This oh. is just another example of America intervening on behalf of other sovereign nations. Jesus and you Christ. will be launching the largest aerial battle in the history of mankind. Well, in less than an hour, President Whitmore is launching the largest aerial battle in the history of mankind. Okay. So I guess you could say he's changed his policy on illegal aliens. <laughs> Let's go play Connect Four with Channing Tatum. Hashtag President Shitmore. Oh Sir, my what did you think God. of the president's speech this evening? Oh, give me a break. I think the president should spend less time talking and more time doing. There uh, you have it. Cut, cut. We're going to live on. Are you We're going to survive. Me? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Not the first be president, nigga. Those aliens are terrified. Here's a box of box. This side has really gone down there or it should just be destroyed. <laughs> Dude, I college humor doesn't fucking miss. They do not miss. I have loved them since their inception. I've been blessed to be able to do a few things with them. Uh, the um uh, I'm actually the, the show I've done a few episodes of that. Uh, which by the way, college humor call me. I'd love to do another one, man. Um I love the shit, and I love that this was back in, in 2016, and they were still nailing it. Fully nailed. It's actually sad that the world has not changed, and we still are in a space where all of that applies. If anything, it's a little bit worse now. Um, what I appreciate, and this is what I love about comedy as a whole, it is meant for you to take a mirror to yourself and go, damn, I fucked up. And, and to, to, to understand where there might be a little merit as to what's going on, but most of the time people are just fucking up. So shouts out to fucking College Humor, man. That was fucking great. All right, on to the next one. All right, I'm going to be honest. This one I have definitely already seen, uh, but if I'm going to hell, you're coming with me. So for those that don't know, can't read what that says, it says Congolese rapper MC Baba goes viral for breaking barriers with deaf hop. While there's speculation about MC Baba being deaf and mute, the artist has reportedly never officially confirmed these disabilities. So look, I'm going to tell you something. Unless that is a complete different language that I don't know about. Because um, I do hear people rapping in another language outside of it. If this is actually true, just because you can do something, it's always mean that you should do something because that was, I was not good. I heard that and all I could think to myself was, oh, oh, so this is the shit that Helen Keller used to get down to. I'm going to hell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm fucking so I'm half sorry is <laughs> oh boy um if i'm out of pocket here if somebody watched this and they're like no 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 it's a real thing let me know because all i know is what i saw here and that can't be a real thing let me know in the comments y'all i'm just gonna go to the last one here and it's actually uh i like to do at least one or two uh stories with y'all and this is gonna be a reddit am i the asshole it's entitled am i the asshole for leaving my boyfriend because he bought his female best friend lingerie as a joke I... i'm gonna say that nigga dumb and he probably did it to himself but let's read the story maybe there's context that i'm missing my boyfriend 28 male and i 24 female have been together for a year and a half i love him a lot and he has been pretty amazing to me 
He's also the sort of person who has lots of friends and his close friends are pretty much family. He also loves to joke and play these harmless pranks on his friends, which sometimes makes me feel weird. Just for context, he has two female friends and three male friends. This is about my boyfriend and one of his friends, Claire, 28 female. Claire is a nice woman and we are friendly. We are friendly. Interesting. That already makes me feel like he probably should have known that his girlfriend is but uh, about Claire. But let's see. <clears throat> My boyfriend has also never ignored me in favor of his friends or talked over me in front of them, which is why I don't understand if I'm in the right. Okay, so that's already a good sign that he, do he doesn't choose them over her. They, my boyfriend's friends, had recently <clears throat> escalated. Try that again. They, my boyfriend's friends, had recently escalated. They, my boyfriend's friends, had a recently escalated prank fight. I had made it clear to my boyfriend that I'm not good at jokes and I'm rather stiff, and he said he would keep me out of it. Claire, my boyfriend, and another friend, Kyle, 27 male, even have a huge throwing water balloons fight in Kyle's backyard. Then my boyfriend got pranked with dye in his body wash. Damn, that's fucked up. Uh, then Kyle got pranked by Claire, something about whipping cream and oven mitts. But the issue was when my boyfriend bought a red lacy lingerie set and planned to put it in Claire's room the next time he went over there. There's more story, uh, but I would really love to know what the context of doing that is it because like, you know, is she is she the type of woman that doesn't do that sort of thing? Because already I don't see how this is really a prank. Anyway, um, I said it was a tacky prank, and why would he buy lingerie? None of the previous pranks have been of this kind, and it makes me really uncomfortable. I also felt like if I was Claire, I would feel gross about it. But my boyfriend got mad and offensive and told me Claire is cool like that, and she would think it's funny. I admit I got a bit weirded out when he calls Claire extremely beautiful and jokes about how she has always been way out of his league. Oh, boy, and there it is. Uh, but I thought it was nothing, and they were like family, so I guess it was their thing. However, the lingerie prank had me put my foot down, and I said... He that he was wrong to give another woman lingerie, so no matter who, when he had a girlfriend. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, we fought, and I said I wanted to break up, which he didn't want to, and I said that I was just... We fought, and I said I wanted to break up, which he didn't want to, and I said that I was just overreacting. He said that I was too conservative and needed to open my mind when he had never given me a reason to be insecure. Claire called me and said that she and my boyfriend have been friends for a long time and inside jokes are just that, and I'll learn with more age. I still feel weird about this. My best friend is supportive of me no matter what I do, but I've started to feel like I'm blowing this out of proportion. My boyfriend says that the, f says that the fact that he told me and didn't hide it from me shows that I'm the problem. I've started to feel like I've blown this out of proportion and maybe <clears throat> it's my fault I can't take a joke. I really feel awful about the whole thing. Am I the asshole? There's an edit, but just from the initial stuff that I see here, I get her insecurity. I think that like, and, and, and her and her being upset about this, if you're, you, got, you have to be really careful in how you use your language. So to say, Claire's extremely beautiful. Claire's out of my league and you've been friends this long. When you say out of my league, subtle subtext there is if i was in her league i would give it a shot and so like that's the only thing there that like words have meaning whether or not you see them that way i can understand her concern now i think if it had been like shitty lingerie that might have been a little funny i don't even know what the joke is there again if it's a situation where like if if maybe she got caught where she had on lingerie and her parents walked in you know, and she was trying to with like hook up with a college boyfriend or something. And so the joke here was like, oh, it looked like the ones you had. then that would be funny or, or whatever. But to just leave lingerie is just weird. Um, I, I don't I don't know. That's that's a weird thing. Now, to that point, I do think unless there's other evidence that he's talking about that that, that has set her off. And I think calling her extremely beautiful and out of the league is is enough to plant a seed there. Um, it's a little it's a little close. Reminds me of the 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 uh, Friends episode. 
Yes, I'm a nigga that watches Friends. Shut up. Uh, the Friends episode where uh, you had, uh, 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 you know, one of the dudes that Rachel was hooking up with was really touchy-feely with his sister. And at first it was like, oh, they kind of tickle each other or whatever. But then, like, at one point they started kissing. Like, now, now it's like, okay, this is, this is more Alabama than, you know, New York right now. Um, but... Anyway, uh, let's read the edit, and then I want to know your thoughts for sure. The people asking what the prank is with the lingerie, apparently it's an inside joke about her during their college days. She had some problems with the color red, and the lingerie would have just given her a shock of some kind, I guess. I told my boyfriend it was cruel, but he said it wasn't a trauma thing, just an inside joke. Claire also said over the phone that the lingerie thing was just an inside joke of their college days. All right. Um, the red would give... She had some problems with the color red. Like, was this bitch in the Crips? What, 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 what are we talking about? What do you mean you had problems with the color red? Um, all right. Uh, maybe she fucked a cat, but you didn't call back? I, I, I don't know. I, it's, it's interesting. Seems like a stupid joke, but it's their inside joke. I would say, girl, if you're that insecure and, I, and like, what, you got four years apart, it, uh, you've been together for a year and a half, year and a half, you're at that position where there's, you're invested, but it's not you've been together four or five years or some shit like that. If, it, if this is already too much for you, then I would say get out because I wouldn't suggest somebody ditching their friends. You should start putting your partner away. If you're trying to make this person your wife, your husband, your spouse, your partner, whatever, you, there should be a point where they should become number one priority in your life, but that doesn't mean you throw everything else out. So if you're really this uncomfortable with it now, then I would say bounce. I'm sure you're not watching this. But that's fine. But what do you think, y'all? Do you think that this is she's doing a little much? Um, or, you know, is she the asshole for wanting to bounce or, you know, is it, is it fine? Uh, you know, or is she, is she, is she, is she spot on with it? Let me know in the comments, man. And that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching the Blur Breakdown Funny Fridays, man. I love having y'all here. Please, if you haven't already, I will say it again. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know what's going on. And, and leave a like on this, man. I would really appreciate it. I'm still trying to monetize the channel. We've hit 3,000 uh, subscribers, which is awesome. And we're pushing to 5,000. But we got to get those watch hours up. So I'm trying to put out as much content as my little body can handle while also working. So please get in there and let me know what's going on. Um, other than that... Uh, I've got uh, X Two X United, uh, the rewatch happening. I'm doing the whole Fox Marvel Universe rewatch thing. Uh, I've also got uh, what my my boys re uh, reviews. I'm behind on those. Those will be put out very very soon. I'm just doing instant reactions to House of the Dragon. I need to put out episode three. A lot a lot of cool stuff popping off. So please come and check all of it out. And until then, I will see all of y'all on the next one. So y'all be safe. I'm out here. Peace. Thank you.